Hi, I'm Steve with Moose Logic, and today I'm here with Dave from Wise. How you doing, Dave? Really good, Steve. Good. Uh, what we're going to do here today is this is the second part of a video uh, on the Weiss Zenith units, and what we're going to do is we're going to actually demonstrate how quickly one of these can come out of the box and be set up. Uh, we're going to show you how to set up the option, option tag in DHCP, and then we're going to pull the unit out of a box that hasn't even been opened yet, uh, plug it in, and connect it up, show you how it works. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and set up the option tag in DHCP. I know this is small on my screen, so I'm just going to explain what I'm doing. Uh, first of all, in DHCP at my IPv4 level, I'm going to just right click and say set a predefined option. I'm going to choose to add one. I'm going to give it a name. I'm just going to call it Weiss Zenith. Um, and the data type is string. The code is a 181. 181. And um, I'm going to go ahead and paste in the path. And what that is is just the path to the program neighborhood agent site, the um, server name forward slash citrix forward slash pn agent forward slash config.xml. Say OK. And that's going to go ahead and create the string, uh, that option. Then I'm going to go to my scope options. And I'm going to go ahead and add a configured option. And I'm going to go search for the 181 string. should be here at the bottom. I'm going to check that. And uh, that should already have the um, value in it. Uh, let's see, actually that was the description. So I put the value in there and uh, say OK. So now when you look at that string, you can see it has the correct path in it. So we're ready to go. When the Weiss unit boots up, it should automatically find that option tag and um, go look to the PN agent site. So now we're going to um, go ahead and get the box out and open it up and connect it up to the uh, Zen desktop environment. Okay, so we've got our Zenith here, um, still in the box. In fact, you can see it even still has the uh, packing label across. So, brand new unit, never been out of the box. Uh, and what I'm going to do here is we're going to go ahead and let Dave uh, get this set up. I'm going to go ahead and step, a, step aside, and he's going to uh, hook this up to the monitor. Uh, we already ran a power cord because uh, it comes from under the table. We didn't want to crawl under the table. So, uh, here we go, Dave. You go ahead and uh, Super. get it running. Well, Show thanks. us what it does. So, uh, as Steve mentioned, this is a Wise Zenith, which is fresh from the factory. You can see the, uh, the ship date on here. Shipped straight from our factory to, uh, to my office. Um, the Wise Zenith Zero client is the device that's, de that's designed for, uh, for Citrix Zen Desktop. The idea behind a Zero client is that um, not that there's no firmware driving the hardware, not that there's no logic on the device itself, but that it requires zero configuration, zero setup, uh, zero management, very little maintenance. Uh, it's a, a, a zero thought device. So um, it, it, kind of what we're doing is showing you how straight out of the box this is an end user experience. We plug it in, we did a little bit of setup on the front end, set a DHCP option tag, which you saw earlier, uh, but that's the extent of the setup that you really need. With that single DHCP option tag, this, uh, this can be the experience for tens of thousands of devices. So that really is a zero config. Uh, and what we've got here in the box, I've got a keyboard, I've got a mouse, which obviously is required. I've got the actual unit itself, which still has the EULA sticker on it, so you can tell we haven't opened it. Um, I've got a DVI to VGA adapter because the device is a DVI output. We've got a VGA adapter, a VGA monitor here. Um, and then we've got a power supply that we'll plug in here. So I'm going to kick this box off to the side here, clean up some space. I'm going to yank the power supply out. I'm going to plug this guy in. DVI adapter. Because we need to have some video output, otherwise you won't be able to tell what's going on, right? Got the actual unit here. Now the Wise Zenith is based on the uh, the C-class hardware platform uh, from Wise Technology. It's a super um, super low, low energy consumption device. This uh, this thing consumes less than seven watts of electricity at full power. So uh, very very environmentally friendly. Lots of uh, cardboard and unboxing here. I feel like I'm on the cooking channel. So I'm going to plug this in. Steve, since they're your, they're your credentials, I'm going to have you actually do the logging in okay. um, to, show the, uh, to show the actual connection of the Zen desktop environment. So we've got a mouse here. Give you a little breathing room. Got a keyboard. 
You got the VGA adapter here on the back. Now this particular DVI port is a DVI-I um, that will be able to, you can actually split it into dual monitors. You can split it into a single DVI and a single VGA. Um, so you can have dual screens out of this little box here. So you can see we've got one, two, three, four connections here and five connections for the power. So we've got power, keyboard, mouse, video, network. I'm going to plug that in. And we're going to hit the power button here and watch the screen. Oftentimes the device actually comes to life and waits for user input before the monitor can refresh and show the, uh, show the display. So look, the display is coming to life. It's finding its uh, range. And there we go. The device is up and running, waiting for user input. And we can tell that it's actually got this screen here. That means that it received the address of the config.xml file, and it's already been in communication with Zen Desktop. Now it's just waiting for username and password. So, Steve, I'm going to let you do that. OK. Top secret password here. Okay, this is going to be a Windows XP desktop uh, because that's what I have available at the moment. But uh, Windows 7 works equally well. There we go. And we're in the, uh, the that, virtual desktop. And the uh, actual time that that took us is about uh, less than three minutes. Easily. Maybe yeah. three and that to was, five minutes. That was dealing with all the plastic and the, uh, the cardboard. So from, from here on out, each one that you set up is, is going to be a matter of uh, just simply taking it out of the box, hooking up the five uh, ports that you need, the mouse, keyboard, power, video, and, and uh, network, setting your DHCP option tag, turning it on, and uh, you've got your Zen desktop. Exactly. Great. What, a, what an awesome product. So easy to use. Just uh, quick, easy, simple, right out of the box. Hey. Thanks for being here, show us this Happy day. To be here. And uh, I'm Steve with Moose Logic. Thanks for uh, coming to watch our video on the Weiss Zenith. Uh, what a great product.